60 degree camera, and more peace of mind from 25490 Drive Line, the award winning NGZS2. It's the more you've been looking for. It's David Shiraz with your news briefing. The search for a 14-year-old girl missing in floodwaters near Gympie has been scaled back. It's been two weeks since the teen was last seen, her car swept away by floodwaters while she was driving with her dad. Emergency crews managed to rescue the 40-year-old man who was found clinging to a tree. The Victorian government hopes there's some improvement when it comes to the COVID crisis. Treasurer Tim Pallas says the overall number of active cases across the state is dropping, and that's welcome news. It's something like uh, uh, a two-week period since we've had uh, numbers as low as this, so uh, things are uh, hopefully demonstrating that we're uh, getting beyond the peak. The country recorded 64,000 infections overnight and a total of 86 deaths. Queensland's the latest state to reduce its booster jab interval to three months. It follows announcements from New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia earlier this week. The Sunshine State's Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk is also encouraging those at risk to limit their time spent out and about. For our elderly and more vulnerable people in our community to think about uh, limiting their movements. We know this is happening in other states. We know that this is happening in Queensland and I thank people for listening to this health advice. And Canberra is increasing the number of visas it offers to Afghani nationals. Some 15,000 will be issued over the next four years. It follows an initial allocation of 3,000 late last year after Allied forces departed the country. The Snoo Super Summer Sale is now on. Save up to 50% on mattresses and up to 40% on bed frames. Exclusions, tees and C's apply. Ash Barty continues her Australian Open charge against Italian Camilla Giorgi on Rod Laver Arena tonight. A win would set up a likely fourth round meeting with four-time Grand Slam champ Naomi Osaka. Nick Kyrgios was knocked out in four sets last night, but was full of praise for his opponent. Matchup wise I think if you ask everyone on tour, I think they would probably vote him the best player in the world at the moment. His consistency, every game he doesn't drop his level. And Australia doesn't have to wait long to defend the T20 World Cup with the next tournament to begin on home soil. <laughs> in Cairns for the rest of today, down to 24 tonight, the same again tomorrow, a shower or two and 31 degrees. Our listener app is the new home of radio, podcast, music and news. Join up to listen live or on demand now. <laughs>